size. So what is a gear train? It is a series of mating gears. If you see on the image on the left and the right, you see there is gear on shafts and they are meeting with each other. So together they are forming a gear train. It is used in almost all machines for large velocity change in limited space. If you see the gear train on the left, the green, blue, and red, they have different size and also they have different tits and that's how they have different rotational speed compared to each other and that's how we change the velocity from one shaft to another. Our focus for this lab is on simple gear train and compound gear train. So how they are different. So on the simple gear train, one basic difference from the compound is that there will be only one gear in one shaft. On the other hand, for a compound gear train, on the right image you see the green is connected with yellow and then the blue gear is connected with the red. And then the middle shaft has two gear, blue and yellow, in one shaft. So if there is multiple gears in one shaft, that is a compound gear. And if it's a, in a series, then you can call it compound gear train. A second difference is in the way it transfers the power. For a simple gear train, power transfer to meshing gears. If you see on the left image, if you assume that the green one is the driver and the red one is the follower and the blue is the idler gear, then the power transferring from the green to the red. Now see the power from the driver is transferred to the blue and then to the red only through the meshing gears. On the other hand, if you look at the compound gear train, the power is transferred through meshing gears and the shaft. How? Again, if you assume the green is the driver gear and yellow is the follower, and for the next round, the blue is the driver gear and the red is the follower, then the power is transferred from the green to yellow and then from yellow to the blue it is transformed through the same shaft and then from blue to the red it is transferred from the meshing tip so that's why for compound gear power transfer is completed through meshing gears and shaft another difference from simple to compound is that for simple gear train the size of the tip has to be the same because they are mating with each other and there is only one gear per one shaft. On the other hand, on the, for the compound gear train, since one shaft has multiple gears, those multiple gears in one shaft can have different tip size. So for the green to yellow, you can have different size tip and from blue to red, you can see here, you can have different size tip. Since blue and yellow, they are not meeting each other. They are just on the same shaft. And that facilitates that you can have different size tip on a compound gear. But for simple gear, all the teeth has to be same size. So we have reviewed what is single gear train and compound gear train. So now, just to assess yourself, look at the gear arrangement in the picture and comment whether you think it is a single gear train or a compound gear train.